Hi, I'm Carol. I'm a paralegal at Bronx Legal Services in the Public Benefits Unit. In this video, we'll talk about things you can do if something should happen to your public benefits that you don't agree with. According to the Supreme Court, you have a right to appeal any decision on your public benefits made by a state agency. If your benefits are discontinued or reduced or denied, you have a right to an appeal. That appeal is called a fair hearing. The agency making the changes to your benefits is required to give you written notice before that change happens. If your benefits are denied or reduced or terminated and you didn't get a notice, you're still entitled to a fair hearing. You'll just have to let them know that you never got that notice. If you live in New York City, you can contact our agency, Legal Services NYC, to have your benefits issues evaluated for legal representation. Our hotline number is 917-661-4500. You'll speak with an intake specialist and get an appointment with a public benefits specialist in person to review your case for possible legal representation. In this video, we'll be referring to certain types of public benefits, SNAP, food stamps, cash public assistance, which is basic cash assistance for shelter and other necessities that are sent to your EBT card twice a month, medical assistance, which includes health insurance benefits like Medicaid, and the Home Energy Assistance Program, or HEAP, which provides assistance with utilities, heating, and cooling costs. In New York State, the Office of Temporary and Disability Assistance, known as OTDA, is responsible for processing, scheduling, and deciding your fair hearings. You can request a fair hearing on a lot of different issues. For example, you've applied for public benefits or services and your application was denied. You never received a decision or the amount approved is wrong. Your current benefits or services are reduced or stopped. Your Medicaid is restricted, limiting your choice of provider, pharmacy, and hospital. You don't receive the full amount of cash public assistance because it's restricted to pay certain bills directly, such as heat and utility bills. You ask for a reasonable accommodation due to a disability or medical condition, and your request is denied or ignored. You ask for more assistance or services for a special need, such as a pregnancy or a restaurant allowance, and your request is denied. These are all reasons why you might request a fair hearing. A word about deadlines. The deadline to request a fair hearing depends on the type of benefit you're receiving or have applied for, and is counted in calendar days, including weekends. For public assistance and Medicaid, you have 60 days from the date of the notice to request a fair hearing. For SNAP or food stamps, you have 90 days. For a public assistance work-related determination, you only have 10 days. To prevent your benefits from being reduced or discontinued, you must request a fair hearing within 10 calendar days from the date of the notice. This is called aid to continue or aid continuing. You must specify that you want aid continuing in your request for a fair hearing. If it's authorized on your case, your benefits will continue unchanged until a fair hearing is held and decided. If there's no notice, then you should get aid continuing without that 10-day limit. If you receive aid continuing and you lose your hearing, you may be asked to repay the benefits as an overpayment. If you're unable to request a fair hearing within 10 days of the date of your notice and your benefits are reduced, changed, or terminated, you still have time to request that fair hearing. 60 days for cash public assistance and Medicaid and 90 days for SNAP. You should request the fair hearing even if you won't get aid continuing. Knowing how to request a fair hearing is just as important as knowing when. You can request a fair hearing by completing the tear-off section at the bottom of your notice and sending it to OTDA at the address on the screen. You can also call their 800 number, 800-342-3334. 
You can request the hearing online at www.otda.ny.gov OAH. Or you can print the request form and fax it with your notice to 518-473-6735. Or, you can bring a copy of your notice to the OTDA office at 14 Borum Place, Brooklyn, New York. In addition to explaining why you're requesting a fair hearing, it's very important that you tell OTDA if you require interpretation services, or if you're homebound, or if you have scheduling conflicts. If English is not your preferred language, interpretation services are available free of charge. A family member or friend cannot act as your interpreter. OTDA will only allow a certified interpreter to provide these services at a fair hearing. If you're homebound and can't travel to the hearing in Brooklyn because of a medical condition, you can request a telephone hearing. You'll get a follow-up letter from OTDA asking for documentation of your medical condition. It's important that you follow these instructions and submit that requested documentation. If you don't, you'll be scheduled for an in-person hearing at the Fair Hearing Office in Brooklyn. If there are days and times of the week that you can't attend a fair hearing, you can ask OTDA to schedule yours around these restrictions. You must provide a reason for your request. OTDA will try to accommodate you, but only if you remember to ask. When you request a fair hearing, state the reasons for your fair hearing request in one or two sentences. Be brief and concise. This ensures that the OTDA representative understands what benefit was affected and how. The following words can be helpful. Discontinuance, reduction, denial, change, closing, restrict. Here are some things you might say when requesting a fair hearing. I received a notice that my benefits will be discontinued because I didn't recertify. My cash assistance or my food stamps were reduced and I don't know why. I didn't get a notice. My Medicaid card isn't working. I tried to use it and I couldn't see my doctor. I think I'm supposed to get more benefits than I was approved for. I filed an application for cash public assistance, SNAP, and Medicaid, and it's been more than two months, and I never got a decision. After completing these steps, you've officially requested your fair hearing. If you requested your hearing by phone or in person, they will give you your fair hearing number. If you requested it by fax, or email, or online, you'll be provided with your fair hearing number by mail. After you've requested your fair hearing, you might receive three types of notices in the mail. A fair hearing acknowledgement notice from OTDA, a mandatory dispute resolution conference from the state agency, and a fair hearing scheduling notice from OTDA. The acknowledgement notice will have your fair hearing number, let you know if you were approved for aid continuing, and list the fair hearing issues. Please examine this notice closely. Once you receive the acknowledgement notice and have your fair hearing number, you should request an evidence packet. We'll discuss the other two notices in just a moment. An evidence packet contains documents that the Human Resources Administration, or HRA, will use to prove their case at the fair hearing. They're required to give you a copy of their documents at your request. It's important to have this information to prepare for your fair hearing. To request an evidence packet, if you're in New York City, you can call 718-722-5012 and request it over the phone. You can also write a letter to request the packet. In New York City, you can write your written request to HRA and fax it to 718-722-5018. Or mail it to HRA Division of Fair Hearing, 14 Borum Place, Brooklyn, New York, 11201. 
You can also print an evidence packet request form and fax or mail it to HRA. A copy of this form is available on the link below the video. You should request the evidence packet as soon as possible, as soon as you have your fair hearing number, but at least five days before your fair hearing. After requesting the evidence packet and while you wait for your scheduling notice, you may receive a second notice. This is an appointment for a mandatory dispute resolution conference. This appointment is an opportunity to resolve your public benefits issues at your local welfare office before your fair hearing date. A mandatory dispute resolution is not the same as a fair hearing. If your welfare office agrees to resolve the issue, make sure to get proof of the agreement in writing. We'll talk about how to then withdraw your fair hearing in a moment. If your issue is not resolved at the appointment, you can continue with your upcoming hearing. The third notice you should receive is a fair hearing scheduling notice. It should look like the one on the screen. This notice will display your fair hearing number, the date and time and place where you should appear for your hearing, the issues to be covered. These notices will be in English and Spanish, but generally not in other languages. If you're not able to attend your hearing on the date that it's scheduled, you can request an adjournment from OTDA as soon as you get your scheduling notice by calling them at 877-209-1134 and asking them to reschedule it at a later date. If the adjournment is approved, OTDA will send you a new scheduling notice with a new date and time. Some examples of why you might want to request an adjournment of your hearing are you're looking for representation and need more time. You have an important appointment that conflicts with that hearing. You or someone you're caring for is temporarily ill, or you haven't received your evidence packet yet. If your adjournment is denied or you couldn't get through to OTDA, you must go to your hearing on the date it was originally scheduled. You can ask the judge in person to then reschedule it for a later date. Lastly, if you requested a fair hearing and the legal issue was resolved or you've decided not to go forward with your fair hearing for some reason, you have to withdraw it by fax, phone, or online form. To withdraw it by phone, call 877-209-1134 to withdraw online at the address on the screen. You can also print and fax the online withdrawal form to 518 473-6735. So to wrap up, remember, you have a right to appeal any decision made about your public benefits. We hope you feel comfortable now requesting that fair hearing on your own, requesting the evidence packet, and the notices and deadlines that are involved. In our next video, we'll talk about how to prepare for that fair hearing and what you should expect as you go forward. Thanks for watching.